Happy vlog week 55! This week is going to be a really exciting week because we are going to have a new addition to the family. So my sister called me up this morning and she's like, oh my god, I've spoken to the woman who she got Chanel from just to see if she had any other dogs, you know, available because the woman's old now, she's retiring, she had like so many dogs at her house. The woman actually had a dog that she was given away to be re Homed. The dog's called Romeo. It's the cutest thing ever. He's actually five or four years old already. So my sister's on her way to go pick me up and then we're gonna go and see little Romeo. Are you excited? Oh my god, guys, I'm getting a new dog. She said to me that if, you know, I can't handle him, if something goes wrong and he doesn't fit in with the household, she'll be happy to take him back. We're gonna give him a little test up around about a month or two and then see how it goes. Hello, you. You little chubby boy. Oh, he's scared. He's like Chanel when you first got him. Oh, Chanel! Chanel! Oh, do you remember this is where you came from? Look! How cozy! His lip on his little right leg. Oh, that's okay. Are you alright with that? He'll have a good home, I think. Yeah, I'll take care. He is really cute. He is, not he? Yeah. Hello, I like this one. Oh, it's a little God. chubby one, this one. <laughs> oh my God, guys, look. Look at him. He's a big mama. Oh my God, he looks like a big massive teddy bear. <laughs> Apparently he's only three years old. He's so scared and so shy, but he's so sweet. He's got a little bit of a bad paw, but he's gonna go into such a good home. I remember when we first picked up Chanel, she was also this fat and also this scared, but now she's like a thriving baby. So this is gonna go down in the history of the first day we picked up Romeo. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's the same situation with Chanel. He's never been on a leash before. Remember when you was like this? Come on, little one. Oh, he's so scared. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Don't they literally look like twins? This was exactly how Chanel was. She was so scared, never been on a leash before, never been on a walk before, never climbed upstairs. And now she's like, sit, queen Paul. bee now, look. I'm a poor good girl, a little yeah. confident missy. This you get to see three of the doggies together and we noticed that Chanel has a small little baby petite tongue and this one over here, he's got like some dinosaur tongue, it's so long. Look at it. Oh my God. Hello there, flicky flicky. First impressions, he's actually really friendly. Normally dogs, straight off the bat, they wouldn't really let you groom them like this. So this is a good sign. This one over here is cutting him like Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> he's going to be a new dog by the time I'm finished with him. He's just sitting there, just chilling. Oh, look at his little feet, guys. He's shaking so much. But he's staying so still though. He's such a cutie. Look at him. He's even upside down and everything. Oh god, he's a big muffin, isn't he? Look, this is where you can see the true size of the doggy. He needs like three shampoos because he's got a lot of dandruff. What was the lady feeding you? Look at these pudgy rolls. Oh my god, it's like a little pork sausage. Alright, he's getting his little blow dry now. Look at him, it's like a new little fresh little lion. Good morning. We are up nice, bright and early. Well, 9am, don't think that's early, I've got to work now. <laughs> I stayed over at my sister's house yesterday because I wanted to see what this little guy is like in the morning. And let me show you the update. He looks like a little Charlie. Oh no, we could call him Teddy. No, he's definitely not a Teddy. Oh Jesus. Most common dog name. <laughs> Come here. Chanel keeps thinking that we're calling her. Chanel's not happy that there's a new kid in town, let me tell you. It's crazy that my sister has three dogs, right? She's gonna be the crazy dog lady. You know how there's like a crazy cat lady? She's the crazy Pomeranian dog lady. She's the new Jeffree Star! So, Wibble wobble jelly on the plate. Wow, look, he's basically twerking, guys. Normally you would imagine that they would explore and like walk around the house and see what's up. But he's just staying in his one corner. He doesn't even know his name's Romeo. Do you guys think we should keep the name Romeo? He literally looks like a cross between Coco and Chanel. Okay guys, so I've been home for the last couple of days since we picked up Romeo. And if I'm completely honest guys, nothing 
nothing has changed. I've called my sister for an update today and she's saying that he's basically stayed in the same spot. He hasn't eaten still. He hasn't pooed. He done a wee on my sister's bed. He hasn't drank any water. He's just so shy and timid and I really hope he comes out of his shell in the next few weeks. This week, I think on Monday, they said it was the most saddest day of the year. Oh my God. I was just crying. I felt so sad. I was literally in the middle of editing and I just started crying. I feel like because I was so happy just a few days ago, a few weeks ago in Sunday Dubai, I felt like I was like the epitome of like my happiest moment. And then coming back, it was just like everything piled on top of me. And I just felt so like no motivation, no hopes, no dreams, no goals. Today, on the other hand, I decided to wake up super early. I actually cleaned up the bedroom cleaned up my makeup room I opened up a few PR packages I edited a whole video I made a new YouTube intro I uploaded a reel I uploaded a photo I cooked I washed the damn dishes we had dishes piled up so high we had like soup there we had like stew over there it was like rotten there was like fluffy bits of mold on top of the soup it was so disgusting I cleaned everything today I feel like I was like superwoman and it's only six o'clock I can actually relax enjoy my evening but I wanted to show you guys my little guest this guy here you haven't been seeing him much on camera you look so tanned by the way hello you like just came off a flight to Hawaii so Grang has not been feeling very well since we got back from Dubai he actually has a ear infection I think but he doesn't want to go to the hospital he's got something wrong with his ear he's been moaning about it for a while now something's wrong with his ear but then coming back from the flight something popped or something happened to his ear so he can't hear out this ear and he's been feeling so down in dumps the last couple of days he hasn't been able to edit for me so i feel like the last couple of days i felt so overwhelmed because i have to do everything myself like clean cook for him i think he's got something called vertigo so is it when you stand up i feel unbalanced because my ear here can't hear nothing so i feel Woozy. Woozy, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, feel for any carers out there or any, like, parents that have to, like, look after a child that's, like, disabled or suffering from an illness or anything like that because I feel like I'm pulled in all these directions. There's so many things that I need to get done. I want to make sure that he's okay. And because of COVID and stuff like that, we can't go see a doctor. And it's just like, do you really want to go see a doctor? Do you want to leave the house when you're not feeling very well? So he's been, like just laying in bed for the last five days basically look who's up and at it had a shower put some new fresh clothes she said i've become skinny he's a little she said that i was fat <laughs> she <laughs> said she couldn't put her arms around me because my belly was too big <laughs> Oh my god, my mom's around you! Because <laughs> Grant's been so ill recently, he hasn't been able to stand up without feeling all super dizzy and stuff. Today is the first day he's got out of bed, had a fresh shower, and I just hugged him. I was like, oh my god, my hand is literally going all around his belly. Oh, I feel so happy that you're back alive. Please no, don't go blame it again. Bed. Danny's messaging me. Alright. Danny, fuck off. No! Someone asked, do you ever get jealous between you and Danny? We love Danny. We love Danny. Danny's our little third wheel. My friends always called me and Grang mum and dad because we are like the mum and dad of the group. And because they don't want to plan shit. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> it's always us planning everything, taking everyone else, picking everyone else up, dropping them home, make sure they're okay, make sure they're eating, are they hungry, they're fed. The kids these days. Oh, anyways, the get out of the way, you. I need to sort out this today. This is the fresh PR that's coming this week. And it's just piling and piling here, and every single day I'm like, oh my God, I need to sit and open these. Oh my God, this box has been sitting downstairs for literally two days, and here it says, must be delivered today. So I'm like, oh my God, what if there's like freaking bugs in here? There is some sort of vegetable in here. Wow, it's so green. There's like a little forest in here. Oh my God, there's so many lemons. It's all rotten now. Oh, it stinks. Oh, there's a cute little water bottle in here. This is actually a really nice color. I'm definitely keeping this. We have a Vichy Mineral 89 Serum. This is so good for hydration and perfect for after my holiday. So thank you so much, Vichy. We've got an apple here. What am I going to do with these mushrooms? Oh my God, they look crazy. Can you believe this grows out from the floor? I actually don't know anything about plants. So there's like these type of leaf things in there. Ah! 
Oh my god, there's, there's a bug in there. What is this? Who knows what to do with this? I have never seen a vegetable so leafy before. It literally looks like a huge broccoli. Shows how much I know about vegetables. Is this a shallot? This is the biggest shallot I've ever seen. A shallot is like a onion. It's my favorite type of onion because it's more sweeter. But this is so huge, guys. This could literally be a, like a breast implant. Okay, so we got some zucchini. Or if you're from the UK, it's called courgette. This is a very thick and girthy courgette. What is this? Is this like a chili? Is this a chili? Or is this a pepper? Someone let me know in the comments because it is huge. This is literally what they feed Bugs Bunny. This is what Bugs Bunny eats with the whole like leaf thing. Oh my God, this is crazy. Oh my God, I've never seen this vegetable before in my life. A Pokemon, I think it's called Farfetch. He used to have one of these in his mouth. I'm gonna insert a photo here. <laughs> Who remembers Farfetch? Do you think this is a chili or a pepper? This is a chili. It's the one that kills the lawn mowing plants versus zombies. Greg's so funny. How does he think of stuff like that? We are on our way out of the house. Greg's finally feeling better now. Yay! He's back on the man your ear. It's fine now, right? It's fine. The infection has gone by itself. And now... It is so dressed. cold. This is how we dress for London. <laughs> from Dubai to London. How cute is this jumper? I got it from a drunk elephant PR package. And I feel like a marshmallow. It's a good day to be alive, baby. Let's celebrate life. Yeah, this is what me and Grace car drives are like. Music, the head bump. Mm, mm, mm. Hello. Hello. Chanel, she got so excited to see Greg that she freaking pissed on the floor. Oh, it's the first time they're meeting, the boys. Romeo, oh, his little limb. Oh. Do you want to see my DIY knickers that I've done for little Romeo? Because I'm scared. He's not house trained yet. Ta da. Oh, a little face mask panty. Oh wow, the pandemic came in handy. And then a little pad, a pussy pad in there. Everyone was messaging me, they're like, you know you can buy it from the store, they, they do special ones for dogs. And I'm like, duh, I know. Until that get posted, this is what I've been using in the meanwhile. You're shaking your little boots. He's your so boots. scared, look at him. He's so scared. Don't put your head down, put your head up. Right, so we're taking little Romeo on a walk. He's walking on the leash very well. And today's such a nice sunny day outside. Look at Coco. This is how old he's gotten. He has to wear a little baby carrier. Okay, so you guys haven't seen my sister and spoke to her properly. You have been missing the vlog? Oh, I haven't seen you guys in such a long time. This is not a very flattering first time seeing each other in New Year's. Happy New Year, guys. A lockdown by myself is pretty boring, so I managed to get myself another dog. I have to admit, it's been a pain up the ass, if I'm honest with you. When I need to go upstairs, I need to pick this one up, this yeah. couch potato, and then couch potato number two here. I tried to teach him how to climb up the stairs this morning, and... Did not go down well. No. Nope. I think we need to give him a bit more time. We're still debating whether we want to keep him or not. Of course you had to keep him. There's no take his backsies here. The woman said that she'll take the dog back if I don't want him. He has moment. no personality at the moment. He's so shy of everything. I do have hope, though, that he will... Come out of his shell. He's coming more and more out of his shell. He yeah. actually gave me a little lick earlier. I can't believe he's made this much progress the last time I was here. We picked him up maybe like three days ago. And look, now he's walking on a leash with Chanel. He's actually loving it. We just let him free. Oh, he's running. He's galloping. As much as I love nature, guys. Actually, tell a lie. I don't love nature. All of this feels like I was stepping on a big log of poo. We're back home now, and he's finally drinking water. Finally, oh my God, when I first got him, I could tell he was so thirsty, and he didn't want to drink any water. Now he's like, nom, 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 nom. Look what I got in my hand. Say hey, ho, say hey, no, ho, oh, hey, no, oh, ho, say hey, ho. Oh, we got some bubble tea, mm, mm My knees, my knees, they're weak, mm. It has been, so long since I had bubble tea, my T5 missed you so. Let's see if it's as good as I remember. Mmm, French pudding milk tea with grass jelly, 50% sugar, 30% ice. 
Mm. Just hits the spot, baby. Guys, it was so good to catch up with Romeo. He is slowly but surely coming out of his little shell. I'm not going to lie, though. There was a couple of days where me and my sister was like, oh, I don't know if he's going to be able to, you know, stick this out. He was sitting in one position for, like, three hours, literally just, like, not moving at all. And he was getting so scared he didn't eat. Even just seeing him on Monday versus seeing him today on Friday, he's made so much progression already. Like, obviously, my sister doesn't see it as much because she sees it every single day. For me, I've, like, had a little gap in between. I'm like, oh, my God, he's so brave now. <laughs> the weird thing about him, though, is that he's not motivated by food. Chanel and, like, all the other dogs I've ever had, if you give them a bit of food, they'll do whatever you want. Food doesn't really motivate motivate him neither does encouraging language and stuff like that he's really like scared of noises we are here to you know give him a better future thank you so much for watching this week's vlog it was so cute and so eventful i honestly never would have even thought coming back from dubai there'll be a new addition to the family it's so 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 sweet but that's it for this week's vlog guys i'm so happy that graham's finally back on his feet and i can finally actually get the year started i cannot wait to see what this year has in store for us guys i hope i pray to god that it's going to be a good year this year thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog i will see you guys in my next one bye well hola <laughs> you out of the way there's a new kid in town oh you're shaking stop chanel you're shaking why do you have to be scared for no one's gonna hurt you chanel you're always ruining the shot, you. Thank you. Okay, out of the way. Come on. This is a very thick, girthy... Oh, that's very dirty. It's an avocado! Ah! There's so many bugs in here! It's the only thing about organic stuff, you know. It's like, that's where the bugs tend to be. <laughs> This is what happens when you go from eating at five-star hotel restaurants and then you come back home to reality. This is what you got for dinner. Some cherries, a Calippo, and a yoghurt. Ah!